When someone comes to you with a proposal and you are happy with their level of character and conduct as well as religion, then do not disagree or deny them. Let them get married to your daughter. If you don't allow them, there may be lots of fitna and fasad. What is fitna and fasad on earth? Fitna meaning corruption, problems, disruptions, difficulties, calamities. So many things can happen. So this is the teaching of Muhammad, may peace be upon him. We need not reject proposals without a reason. Some people will reject it solely because they've had a problem with someone, solely because they had one raw deal where they were wrong sometimes. And their daughter has to suffer, the son has to suffer. They lose out on good proposals. As we all know today, to get a good person to marry is like hunting for a needle in a haystack. Perhaps not as difficult as that, but for a lot of people it may be just that. And it is very, very risky because sometimes we've picked up part of the hay and we think it's a needle. And in the same way, we think we have a good man or a good wife and it only turns out later on that they're not as good as we thought they were. So it's important for us, once we've made the decision, each one of us should be, the main aim in our lives should be to please our maker, to please our creator. We need to be constantly conscious of that. If that is the case, we will be able to lead a happy life. If my main aim is to please my creator, my religion teaches me to be the best person, to be the best husband, to be the best wife, to be good in character, good in conduct, to get up early in the morning, to, you know, to read late at night, to make sure that I've prayed, to make sure that I have fulfilled my duties unto him, as well as my duties unto the rest of my family members. All that is part and parcel of my religion and fulfilling what the Almighty has instructed me to fulfill. And for this reason, when you look at someone who has character, conduct, they speak well, they know how to come across. When they want to say something, they choose the best way of coming across. You will lead a much happier life than marrying someone who's very abrupt, no character, no conduct, no religion and so on. We've had cases where you have people who pick up their wives in nightclubs. It is said that is exactly where they leave them. We ask Allah to protect us. What that means is, they picked someone up in the nightclub because of how good their legs looked or for example how nice their face was or how beautiful the hair was. The day they find someone with better legs billah, or better hair or better looks, they will drop this one and go for the next. So that was not the proper way of looking for a wife.